We are Boys on Film, I am Phil Marriott, and this is Raj Rudolph. Hey Phil. And today we are talking about Boy Raised. I just love it when a film like this comes along. Brilliant acting, great cast, brilliant direction, and a subject matter which really makes you think about stuff, but told in a really compelling way. It's the new movie starring Nicole Kidman and Lucas Hedges, who I think was in Manchester by the Sea. Okay, yeah. And that was the last movie I saw him yeah. in, and I think he's a brilliant actor, but he's surrounded by a great cast here. Yeah, there's lots of critical acclaim for this film. Yeah. Now we should quickly mention we have asked you recently for a classic movie that you want us to review as part of a poll on our Facebook page and Twitter and the big drum roll, the overwhelming majority of you said that we should review the 80s movie that was When Harry Met Sally. Yes, When Harry Met Sally. Yeah. It's been a hot minute since I watched that film mm. so I'm pretty sure I have it in my DVD collection at home so famous for the big yeah. restaurant scene. Yes. Yeah, of course. I'll have what she's having. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it. That's a whole nother discussion. When so. did it come out? Was it the late 80s? Yeah, it must have been. I just remember at the time being so into horror movies and everybody banging on about how brilliant this film was, it kind of put me off watching. And young goth feels like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was totally not my bag at all. Unfortunately, sadly, um, as good as the film is, got totally snubbed with the Oscars uh, this year. Which I think, is a surprise. Yeah, it got, uh, I, I think it got a nod for Best Song in the Golden Globes. But yeah, I think completely ignored by the Oscars this year. The Fools. I know. Mm. Fire them all. So it's based on a true story. It's adapted from memoirs by Garrett Conley. The character's name is different in this movie. It's Jared Amons who Lucas Hedges plays. His mother is Nicole Kidman, and his father is Russell Crowe. Yeah. Uh, I've never really been a massive fan of Russell Crowe in previous movies, but I thought he was great in mm. this. Yeah, neither have I, but I, to be to be fair, yeah, he was really good in this film. I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed his performance, even though he's kind of like, you know, I guess part of the bad guy <laughs> yeah. scenario where, uh, you know, he's the bad dad who sends his kid off to gay conversion therapy because religious reasons and he's a pastor and and we've seen this before because we talked about a film which is very similar which is the miseducation of cameron post yeah and and it's very similar you know set up to that film based yeah. on uh, i mean it is kind of like the girl version of the story and the boy version yeah. of the story it's very similar i have to say i much preferred this to the miseducation of cameron post yeah, uh, for me, I, I find them both on equal footing, actually. I think both are really good films, superior uh, in their storytelling. Um, to be honest, I was really excited for this movie to come out, and it just about met my expectations. It didn't actually like blow my mind as to, like, oh, it's so much better, but it was kind of like, yeah, it was as good as I thought it was going to be, yeah. actually. Um, surprisingly, too, like I'm a big Troy Sivan fan, and I thought he was... Really wonderful. Oh, he was this brilliant. Film. Yeah, like is it his first role? Because I've no, seen no, him he's before. done. He's done some smaller things before. Like he was in an X Men movie, strangely oh, enough, wow. as a little kid. Yeah, and he's produced one of the songs on the soundtrack as well. I think, or maybe more than one. I, I think he's done quite. If there's a there's at least I think two or three Troy Sivan songs yeah. in the soundtrack. So it's perfect matching of like someone really current and relevant on the gay music scene into this sort of movie. So yeah, it was really good. So Jared, who Lucas plays, is a guy growing up, still living with his parents. His parents obviously were very religious. Very. Comes out to his parents, and it does flip back and forth quite a bit in the movie, which can be a little bit confusing. Yeah. Unless you're really paying attention, because I was quite tired when I, when I saw the film. I certainly woke up after the first 20 <laughs> minutes, because uh, it just really engaged me. But it does flip back and forth. So you see him coming out and um, being sent off for, for conversion therapy. Yeah. And uh, it's quite shocking, some of the different things that they do to those kids. It really is. It really there. disturbed me. Yeah. The whole thing, too, like there is, I don't know if we can actually say it or not, Maybe you want to put a spoiler warning on this, but there's a, maybe a wizard scene in this movie. Ah, that was the moment I was... Yeah, and quite controversially, too, like, I had to think about this afterwards, like, 
you know, you think something like that would be the center of the story, especially with the Me Too times we live in right now, but it's actually not. Absolutely, it was really um, uncomfortable to watch that. Actually. And did you notice in the end what happened? And I had to like, hmm. Nicole Kidman sounding and looking completely different, although not as different looking in, as in Destroyer. <laughs> We've yeah. seen recently, I still haven't seen that, I really want to see that. But she obviously has this Deep South accent, I especially enjoyed her in this film, yeah. you know, and it's just such a shame because that to me would have been like best supporting actress material. Absolutely. Like she was so good in this and really, you, you know, you saw the, you saw how difficult it was for her to be the loving wife and support her husband and support her faith. But yet, you know, her son is going through this horrible thing and she just knows that something's not right. I mean, I'd like to say that Lucas Hedges holds this film because his performance is so terrific and he really does show a person that's going through anguish and turmoil. He's so brilliant. He's such a great actor. And I thought that, you know, in Manchester by the Sea as well. But, you know, I think the whole cast are just superb in this. And Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, God, yeah. Horrible. He's just so horrendous yeah. at the conversion therapy group. Joel Edgerton... He's a brilliant director. Um, did you see The Gift that he directed? Yep. Thought that was really superb as yeah, well. He has this I like flair, that. I think, for engaging you and showing something that's tough to watch, but not not being too over dramatic about this. There's a scene in this movie where something happens to Jared's friend yeah. who's at the group. Can't say what that is, but he walks into the house where his parents are and he goes up and closes his bedroom door. And he gives his dad this glance as if to say, you know, you encourage this, you made this happen almost. Yeah. And it's just little moments like that in this where you see the, the actors just showing such turmoil. I just yeah. thought, I thought the acting was 100% top notch. Yeah, I really just enjoyed this movie thoroughly. Even kind of knowing what the movie was going to be about, like, didn't spoil it for me at all. I was just like, whoa, this is going to be so good. <laughs> So Raj, what popped your corn? <laughs> <laughs> the actors definitely. All performances down to all the supporting cast to even just the people in the background. Yep. Every performance was really good in this movie. I would completely me. agree. I thought the direction was great. I thought the script was really good as well. It really made you believe the family relationship. And it's also something that, you know, affects so many people scary to think that thousands and thousands of people go through this type of yeah. experience. Horrendous to think that it still goes on, but yeah. it does. And we have a vice president of the United States who supports this sort of thing, so yeah. yeah, it's pretty scary. Yeah, it is. For me, I just can't fault anything. There's no spoilers. I just thought everything about this movie was terrific, and I'm going to give it a five star. Ooh, ooh. My first for a while, wow. actually. Wow, wow. The that's best thing I've seen impressive. this year, certainly. Wow, that's yeah. really impressive. I'm going to give it a four stars. I thought it was really good. Um, maybe could have been better. Like, could have just gone a bit further. So it's Boy Erased. It is out in UK cinemas now. Uh, I, I just thought it was fantastic. Go I was and see really it. really blown away Go by and it. see it, definitely. Yeah big thumbs up for me uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and we'll be back soon